think it was 13. I believe it's 13. Right, here we are. Week 4 of the Camel GT Series. Here at the Nürburgring. This is the GP circuit. Not the uh, famous Nordschleife. And, um, yeah, this is a split. So we've got two splits. This is the second split. We are car... Uh, number six on here, um, out of the Nissans we are car number three. Uh, we qualified in P2. We've got uh, Mike Taylor, um, who is also Mike Three Legs on uh, on uh, Twitch and uh, I think YouTube as well. Um, we've got uh, Sarah and Spear. Um, they didn't qualify. Uh, 13, I believe, cars in this, uh, Nissans, I suppose. And um, a bunch of Audis as well. So yeah, um, we're going to try our best, see if we can get uh, uh, maybe a podium at least, if we can, um, and obviously fight for it. So uh, Mike's on the pole, both showing fairly good pace, so that's good. And um, yeah, here we go, rolling off for the start. Once again, the uh, Camel GT is uh, its not on laps, it's on time, so we've got a 40 minute race here and uh, yeah hopefully no uh, no one hits me from behind or dives in too crazy at the start let's uh, get up with Mike And we're off. Mike drops the hammer. Marty in third got a good run. A bit wider. A little bit wider because Marty uh, was there. He did back off though. I didn't realise he was going to do that. Okay, Mike is in the lead. I'm in second. And off we go. So we can hope for is a clean start. Away we go. Oh, cold tires. Itchy nose. Right. See what we do here. Aim is to try and not bin it, not overdrive the car, be as smooth as we can. I'm going to try and stay with Mike and give him a race. So we've got uh, is it Denise and Marty behind. Next car is the leader, Jim. The trick is not to over drive the car. Easier said than done when you're uh, at the sharp end and you've got people behind and you've got the leader in front. Just try to try and be smooth. Hey Rails Crown, how you doing? Thank you. Oh, Denise is going to get closer. Were you in hot there? 
Woo. Is it he or she? I'm not sure. They went a bit hot there. Ah, uh, yeah, there's, there's certain times... Um... Actually, what about uh, last night? Did it not go... What, what, what happened at... Um... 8.45... Uh... 7.45 GMT uh, yesterday. Did it not have a good... Normally that's a quite a good one, the Thursday evening. And then Sunday, I, I, I Sunday 8.45 uh, UK time, 7.45 GMT, it's normally pretty good. There's certain days where it's, yeah, so Thursday evening and Sunday evening are the two ones, the two big numbers this season. Whoops, a little bit hot there. But yeah, they, they, it's going to enjoy, I need to do some practice. So maybe after this or tomorrow, I'm going to do some practice. It's a, as you say, it's the, the oval. It's the road course for the oval, isn't it? It's an auto club. Have not done practice yet, so I need to get cracking with the practice. Right, let's see if we can catch Mike. 3.6 seconds. He's, he's showing very good pace, is Mike. He, as he did in qualifying, obviously, with the pole position. Yeah, we've got Marty and Romain not far behind me trying to sneak away from them got uh, a few Audis in the pits there I've noticed If you want the view from the leader, obviously Mike in the lead, he's actually streaming at the moment. He's Mike, three legs. Mike, the number three, and legs. Uh, not that you can see much of a better view. He's uh, on his own. I'm going to try and catch him if I can. I've got some guys behind me closing in. Try and hold him off. I think I got a good lap in and qualifying and I've got a feeling Marty behind didn't set his best lap in qualifying so masking his true pace so I think he is very quick hopefully I can hold him off Got a few guys back there, I notice. Not far away from me. Try to be as smooth as I can. Try and eat back into the lead. Mike sneaking away from me there. Last half a lap or so, I've managed to hold him, but. Come on, get around this corner. Set. Doing a better job. A slap, maybe.
Come on. Most the guys behind are going to battle. They look relatively close. There's a good lap. Quite hot there. Attentive on the follow there, didn't want to find the foot or anything. Keeping a distance to Marty behind. He's quick though, so we need to keep the pedal down and be smooth. That's the main thing. So if he makes the odd errors here and there, it'll... oh no, Mike, what did he do? Oh, oh I hope he's okay. Oh no. Oh, it wasn't Mike. Oh my goodness, I thought it was Mike. <laughs> Back marker. Sorry, if I, if I scared anyone, it wasn't Mike. My goodness, scared myself. Apologies to any Mike fans there, I may have called the wrong name. I didn't see the back marker. Yeah. Oh, Denise. Behind me early on. Well, you never like to s ah, never like to see a back uh oh that's confused me even more I thought it'd be it's not Mike raiding because he's in front oh thank you for the follow Jay Mayhe Mayney so I couldn't read that it went really quick and I was in the corner J underscore Mayney hello thank you for the follow we are currently here at the Nürburgring G B circuit and <sighs> trying to catch the leader, Mike. We've got a, we've got some Audis here. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder. I, I don't want freebies though. Dagger steps. I want to beat people fair and square. That's what we like to do in this channel. This is the Camel GT series, if anyone out there doesn't know. We've got made up of the prototype Nissans and the Audi GTOs. I don't know how fast they take these corners. Not very. Wow. Oh, and then we've got a tricky situation here. Thank you, sir. Come on, don't go too wide. Hang on to your hats. Anyone give me any news on Sarah or Spear? Know where they are? Come on, Ben. Let's see if we can catch Mike. P9, cool. Oh, is he ahead of Sarah? Mm. Oh, Sarah's. Oh, Sarah's P6. Okay, he's not ahead of Sarah. 
Wow, Sarah's not far behind the... Go Sarah, and go Spear. Right, how quick are we going to catch this guy up? Oh, I packed him in the second gear there. Wasn't sure, funny angle. So this is... This is it. This is what it's all about, this series. It's the consistency, obviously, and, and smoothness um, of your driving, like any race. But multi-class, especially, it's um, it's about dealing with traffic. See, I got in front of that guy a little bit. I don't know if it's a bit naughty there, but I'm try and get through traffic as. I like lots of cars. I mean, it's fun that it's it's fun that sometimes it does split. So you've got a chance of being up there if you're if you're like second split. Um, but if you're in a like second split and it's the really low numbers and then half the field crash out, it's it becomes less of a race almost, doesn't it? I mean, it's still fun if you're battling, but if you're not battling, you're out in front or and there's like no one anywhere near you or in a massive bubble then you know maybe not as much fun but I think this is still fun because st we've still got a fair amount of GTE P's and the Audis keep you honest I tell you you got to make sure you make the moves well Yeah, hopefully we'll see um, Macintosh back one day racing when he wants to. And uh, do miss him. Thought he was doing this series. But oh. Obviously, if it's not fun, then there's no point racing if you don't enjoy it, for sure. This is good fun though, this is good fun. I think Spear's favourite, I think maybe this is Spear's favourite series we're doing this season as well. Challenge of the, uh, double, the uh, prototypes and the Audis. Gotta be smooth, gotta be smooth. OK, that's P2, so P1 of the Audis is ahead of us. And this is perfect because we're going to get him just, I think, at the right time. Yeah. OK, so no no scary moments really so far with the lapping. But it's going to be like this for the rest of the race now, pretty much. So, oops, a bit bumpy there. Yeah, so it's going to be still going to be a little bit squarey. Right? It's not going to be plain sailing for a P2 or anything like that. Still going to have some moments. That's why we can never give up on P1 because uh, it only takes uh, the leader to get bulked by the, uh, the GTO, and then you can quite easily lose multiple seconds in any sort of. Decisive. Of course, you got the lower ranks GTOs in this as well. So, the some of them are maybe not as skilled in traffic or as familiar with traffic. I don't know. So you've got to be careful. Some keep their line. As you should. 
They say you should always keep your line, if you can. And the faster class will get round them. But some of them decide, some of them do move. And you've got to watch out, because sometimes they even break in the, uh, you know, in the racing line. You've got to be vigilant. Oh, Mike's had a spin, is he? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's him in front, isn't it? Okay, still going though. Looks like he's still in one piece. He just fancied waiting for me, that was it. Whoops. Oh, 1x. Went a bit, went a bit speedy in the... Uh, got excited for seeing Mike. Didn't hit anything, did he? Um, so... Oh, hang on. Hope he's okay. I didn't see the instant, because he's so far ahead, I didn't see if he hit anything. Quit! Oh, he must have hit something? Oh no. I oh, must have hit something. Oh. That sucks. Oh. Well, that puts me in P1. Boinky! Oh no. Pressure's on now. I've got loads of people watching me. <laughs> Mustn't bottle it, as uh, Tagusip says. Wee. Let's try and kick some bottom. Oh, damage to the... Oh, sucks. That's a shame. I wonder if he was a... I wonder if a back marker. Or whether it was self-induced. Oops. A little bit hot there. Alright, back marker coming up and Marty's on my tail. The leader. Yeah, we got less of a field, so we still could get some issues with the Audis. Oh my goodness. Is he letting me? Yikes. I wasn't sure. I couldn't really see him. He was in my blind spot. I'll put a thank you. Whether he let me go or not, I think he did. Or he was just really slow and had damage, maybe. Come on. See if we can get away. Come on, Ben. Go, go, go. Yeah. Actually, just as you said that, Tanger Steps, he got a little bit held up. So, we need to make... What's the expression? Make hay while the sun shines. So, is, is Sarah in uh, fifth? I guess she's in fifth place. And maybe spear behind her. A couple of places. Some exciting stuff. Jib and Strato Spear Racing are having a good race so far. Apart from Mike, of course. Sucks. Head down. Go, go, go. Two behind her having a bit of a battle there. bit annoyed about that 1x though but I've got to put it in my mind I've got a, a race to protect here possible win if we can do it but of course a long way to go ah Spear has come up to P6 good job Spear oh I wonder if he's battling with Sarah excellent can see second and third behind me. Ah, I can't believe it. Mike had really good pace today.
med få. Pumpy bumpy, come on. Foot down, foot down. Go, go, go. Don't want to give him any sniff of a uh, draft. It's getting far too close. Oops, be careful there. I don't want to give away a slowdown. That's not far off. Come on, push it. Push it real good. No Audis for a little while. Open road. So it's uh, quite late now, it's because the iRacing keeps on GMT and of course we've moved to BST so it's sort of 9 o'clock on a Friday, it's 10 o'clock so quite late. You start, you start getting tired and thinking oh it's nearly bedtime then you remember you've got to race. <laughs> I quite, I think I preferred the 9 o'clock rather than the 10 but we, uh, the 8 o'clock one doesn't go official so Different angle, because the car... Whew. Right. Oh, this one's got... Mm, come on, Aldi. Keep going faster, please. Gonna be right on him in the, sh in the chicane. Ah, I think Marty got better off me there with the uh, back marker. Although Dylan got really good, got a good line as well with them. They're really close, those two. Well, got close to me there, I think. A car come from nowhere. There we go. That's it, come in behind me, Diego. <laughs> Not the best angle. We're okay though. So, prototype, they're pretty much on rails. Go, go, go. Three-way battle for the lead. Incredible stuff. Go, go, go. See if we can pull away somehow. Tricky section. Quite a slow, tricky section that. Which, well, they say the slow sections are where you make up the, the time. What have we got now?
pescado. Some battling Aldi is ahead. If we can meet him at a nice place. Oh. Two of them. through there. Go, go, go. Okay, we've got uh, one Audi ahead. Ah! Just stepped out there. One X. mistake there but uh, no issues still right on these guys still a three-way battle for the lead long way to go Hunter becomes the hunted, and vice versa. Eight minutes, okay, how? Thank you. Here we go, the cream rises to the top. First place is number one car, second place is number two car.
and I am effectively number three car. Because the, uh, the car numbers three, four and five are all uh, the other class. Right, let's see if we can get a good uh, a good chicane here. Ah, uh, you got a pretty good one. So I don't know what I did a few laps back. I think I just got on the power a little bit too early out of this. Just here, I got a got a bit greedy with the power. I think. Right, let's get back to him. Come on, nice and smooth, Ben. Marty's catching Dylan again, I think. We can hopefully catch them both. Ah, too deep there, the first part of it. Come on. Whoop. Whoopsie. First gear, first gear. Okay. Right, come on. Smooth, smooth, smooth. No one behind, so there's no pressure behind. We need some smooth laps. I think these guys have improved their time since they got past me. I think I was holding them up a little bit, but... See if we can get them. Do our best stuff. I wonder if I've got any back markers coming up. I've had a back marker for a while. Still might come down to back markers at the very end, the last lap or so. Bumpy, bumpy, come on. So I can do. Be smooth. Come on. Look like he backed away, gave, gave me the corner, then he kind of didn't didn't stop. <laughs> We're going to carry on going.
definitely would have taken uh, a podium at the start of the race. So anything more than that's a bonus. Anything better than the third step is a bonus, if we can. Let's try and put a bit of pressure on. I think Dylan's really started to hit some really good lap times now. Final lap. White flag fever, as Spear would say. Hey, Irish Fonzie. Yep. And the other class is the Audi GTO. I'm driving the Nissan. Come on. Got me, uh, the two highest rank, highest rating guys, first and second. I'm in third. Not far behind though. They're quite. Still a couple of Audis to negotiate for the uh, the front two and myself. Audis are a little bit slower. Uh, it's just unlucky we are caught in the... A little bit unlucky. It's the first time that's really happened where I've been stuck behind a, an Audi at a, a point where I just can't get past. Whew. This, is, this, is, this race has flown by. 40 minutes, an absolute flown by. I was a bit surprised when I saw that white flag, to be honest. Oh, we've got too much fuel, as usual. And there we go. P3, ah, could have been better, but could have been a lot worse, so... Nothing crazy went wrong. Um, I made one little error coming out of this out of this corner. A little bit of, I guess you'd say Thunderfoot, I think, or something like that. Or just caught the grass there and went off. Good race guys, really enjoyed that. Congrats on the win Dylan. Good stuff Marty. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean it could have been better. On the outside outside of it, I'm I am the third ranked third of the of the GTP field. Um it, it did actually end in, in I rating first, second and third. Um, but I was leading for a little while. I mean, chiefly I think because the, the two guys, first and second, number one and number two car, they didn't do as, as good a job in, in me in qualifying. Didn't get their, you know, potential in, because obviously they're quicker in the race, so it shows that they didn't quite get their, get their potential uh, qualifying in, and I just did a slightly better job in quality. But, I don't know. Yeah, I made a little error. They got past, but whether I could have held them off Actually, anyway. Timothy, you had to be down. There's nothing I could do about it. Yes, Sarah and Spear bringing home fifth and sixth. Excellent. Top half, top half. Got 13, uh, 13 cars, so uh, yeah, top, top half. Just sucks for Mike. Mike had an incident. He was in the lead at the time, so... That's a bit of a bit of a shame. But other than that, uh, good race. Yeah, happy with that. I don't know how we would have done if it was a one split. Retrospect, I don't know. Certainly wouldn't have been uh, fighting for the lead. <laughs> or anywhere near the lead. Yeah, I just saw him. I didn't. He was a little. He pulled away a little bit from me, Alan. Um, yeah, 
just pulled away from me a little bit. I couldn't see what happened. I hopefully, I was hoped he didn't hit anything, but um, unfortunately, he must have hit something. Uh, yeah, which is a bit of a shame. But let's uh, so quickly look at my lap times here, because I got down into the forty twos, and then it's a bit strange, isn't it? Really, down the forty twos. Maybe it was draft. I don't know. Then maybe when Mike got away, I didn't have any draft forty fours. And a mixture of 43s, 42s, 43s. Got a 41 point, <laughs> just stacked under the 42 there, or 41. And later on, with, with fuel burning down, that 22 hooked up a, a good one, 41.7. But uh, but yeah, let me just have a quick look at the, uh, the race results um, for this. Because uh, interested to see how we... Uh, how we all did here. Let's have a look. So, um, okay. So, um, this was uh, split two of two. It did split. So, uh, um, yeah. So, uh, gained some safety. What did we do for the? Uh, we had two incident points, which was a bit, a little bit annoying. But hey, well, uh, we we did gain uh, enough safety to go four point nine nine again, though. So that's okay despite the two incidents there. Uh, we did gain more high rating, so we're now up to 22.51. Oh my goodness, nosebleed territory. It's pretty much the highest I've ever been. I, I, I don't know. There was a big run once with GTE races where I, I, I sort of lucked in from a lot of uh, people um, getting kind of crashed out and all sorts of things going on and just got a lucky run once and I don't know I think I might have even got to 1.3 once I'm not sure I'll have to check but um yeah so there we go so um 34 I rating um we got a 41.7 in the race there near the end with the, with the low fuel uh but uh you can quite see that the guys um as I suspected they didn't uh quite hook their the races up in qualifying because they quite clearly were quicker than me. A forty point six by Dylan. That was a very good lap. Um, Carnival one, so he just about he was he's two point four k. Um, in fact, so is Marty two point four k. So I'm really happy with these guys because I'm a I'm a two point two. Uh, some might argue a a, a two a one point nine or two k driver in just disguise there, but um, but I've just managed to get some results and sneak up to two point two which is pretty much my max limit, I'm sure. But um, yeah, two, these are proper 2.4 drivers, so ah, I couldn't quite hold them off. A little bit, one little error and they was through, but just couldn't hold on to them. But really happy with that, though. Podium, really happy. Uh, 72 championship points. Sarah got P5, top five. Excellent job. Um, gained 20 I rating. Gained a bit of safety. Uh, good job from Sarah there, and uh, still on the lead lap, and also Spear, not Simon, also on the lead lap, gained 12 I rating, and uh, gained, gained a chunk of safety with just a 1x. Excellent, excellent job. Um, it was a shame for Mike, uh, unfortunately had the... Uh, uh, I, I, all, I can just, all I can think of, so I haven't seen it, uh, maybe hit a barrier, hit something, and uh, disrupted the car's... Um, aerodynamics or yeah messed up the car some way uh, unfortunately because uh, he was uh, he was on pace with uh, with Dylan I think to be honest with you uh, when he was lapping at his best so possibly could have won that one because he was a fair bit of, a, away from Dylan and the guys so I'm not sure they would have caught, uh, caught Mike so uh, unlucky for Mike there but he will come back to fight another day for sure but um, yeah really uh Really enjoyed that race. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it's fun packs. I even had the lead for a little while, but ah, I don't know. Whether I, I made like one little error, uh, which is my second off track of the race. Um, but, you know, you can't always get a perfect race in. Uh, and there's no guarantee I could have held them off, to be honest. They were very fast, and uh, I don't know whether they would have come a we'll pincer attack at some point. It was both right next to each other. We might, we might have ended up three wide. Anything could have happened, but I don't know. It was good fun, though. Really enjoyed that race. So, uh, yeah, so week four is, uh, is is done for the Camel GT. We are at, let's have a look, Road America next week. So that's a track we've already done um, this week with the Lotus 79. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that one. So uh, on to week five with the Camel. See you then. 
So 